Hello. I'm Jasper. From now on, I'm going to be doing all of Rigging Doctor's videos forever. Forever. April Fools! Ha <laughs> ha! Jasper has an Instagram though, for real. If you want to check it out, it's Sailing with Jasper. Yeah, he is. Uh, he has a pretty cool life. Yes. Um, but so we actually did our April Fool's video early. Yes. Um, it was the sailing the flat earth. We're not flat earthers. That was a joke. We think it's pretty ridiculous that something that's a long time ago got figured out that it's round, and there's so much more science to actually focus on. Yet this is something that people are searching. We actually got a lot of very disturbing comments on that video. Yeah, I think some people think we might be flat earthers. <laughs> so we just wanted to set the record straight. That's not the case. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it, it wasn't originally intended to be an April Fool's joke. However, um, some people didn't watch until the end and did in fact believe that we were flat earthers. So yeah, um, we decided to kind of, on April Fool's, just respond to some of the comments on that video. One of them was actually saying that we were not on a boat. Yeah. And, uh... uh we're, we're on a boat. We are very much on a boat. Wait, wait. Go outside. Take them outside. Oh, yeah. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> We could not be more on a boat than, than now. We are currently on a boat. No, the boat's not in the water, but we are on it and in it. it we just found it to be uh, concerning that this is even a conversation that is happening in today's um, world. And yeah. it seems to be only in the US. Yeah, thankfully. So, <laughs> Being how YouTube lets us see a whole bunch of analytics, we can actually see a lot of stuff that you guys search when you search for things uh, to find our videos. Don't don't worry, we don't see the rest of your search history. That is safe with you. Uh, the the thing is, like four percent of our lifetime search words for our whole channel are now flat Earth, <laughs> which means that there's a lot of people searching that. That ranks up there with sailing and Rigging Doctor, like the other two, the first and second ones. So so that's a little concerning. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why are you guys searching for Flat Earth Info? And if you search for flat earth, flat earth Info and then you get it only from specific Flat Earthers that you believe, that is called an echo chamber, that is not science, mm -hmm. that is not research, that is sad. It's okay. I'm sorry. He gets worked up. I, I It's so frustrating. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. But, but the really cool part, like from a scientific standpoint, just the psychology of, of people. So one of the like just fascinating things, when you're going to throw something as crazy and ludicrous out as the earth is flat, that's fine. Uh, you believe that, cool. I don't care. That's your belief. But these people cling to scientific knowledge and, and just they, they come up with all these pseudoscience but just sham science papers because they want to have something scientific to prove that they're not imagining this they're trying to make create scientific methods to prove that their theory which is that the earth is flat rather than using the scientific method to then come to a conclusion which is not the conclusion that they want yeah, when they do tests and it comes out wrong, mm -hmm. as the Earth is curved, because they did the exam, the test properly, mm -hmm. then they just throw that one out as wrong, that didn't work, and keep testing until they finally get one that proves that it's flat. So, speaking of science, I think the thing that bothered bothers me the most about this whole flat Earth theory is that people are putting a lot of effort into the science um, to prove that the earth is flat, which it's not, but anyway, yeah, like, I, it's just sad that that 
that scientific effort is being put into something that has been proven already, like we're past that, we're hundreds of years past that, when it could be put into real problems that we have today that they just are blind to. And one of those problems is human impact on this world. And um, we have been extremely close to one large aspect of that human impact, and that is... Yeah, the, the plastics in the ocean. The ocean, yeah. So what is really sad to me is that instead of focusing on cleaning the ocean and developing ways to preserve our planet, people are... This large, weirdly large population of people is focused on proving that the ocean is flat, Yep. Uh, um, and so, that being said, um, that leads into our announcement. We're currently close to 10,000 subscribers, and when we hit 10,000, we want to do something to help make an impact and make a change on the oceans of the world. We decided that in order to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers... We are going to find a way to give back in a real way. Like a tangible way. A tangible way to this this world and this ocean that we are currently living in. Yeah, so we, we need help on this one. So our goal is that when we hit 10,000 subscribers, it's 10,000 people. If everyone donates $1 towards a cause, which we don't know which one it is, and it'll be a direct to them, not to us, then to them. Like, mm -hmm. all to them to get stuff done. That'd be $10,000 towards that actual, cause. Yeah. actual change. Yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions for, for causes or, or any organizations that, mm -hmm. not the kind where it's like, you know, five cents goes towards the thing and the rest goes into their pocket, like, like actually goes to the work. Our goal is to send at least $10,000 to a cause that helps clean the ocean. This is not an April Fool's joke. Yeah, th this is for real. <laughs> this we, is real. Yeah. We we would please love it if you would leave a comment in our in this video suggesting suggesting a cause that you believe in that an organization that helps to clean and preserve our oceans and we will look into every single one that is suggested to us and we will decide which one we believe in the most and, and then we'll contact them and make contact sure everything's them exactly. up to snuff yeah yeah so rather than like having a party or celebrating with drinks or whatever or a spreader jump uh, we're, yeah we're with, never doing a spreader jump no. <laughs> with 10,000 views we <laughs> thought we would actually uh try to make a difference so Especially since we are, you know, the green people with our electric motor and all that. We, we really care about the ocean and we were really amazed and disheartened about how many plastics we saw in the Atlantic. Yeah, well, those four days that we were just totally becalmed, there was just this white snow as far as you could see. And I took a sample of the water and the top inch was just microplastics. And this is, like... The whole Atlantic. It's just covered in this. It's, yeah. It's really, oh. really sad. So, so yeah. We yeah. implore you. Please um, help us make a difference. Suggest causes. Suggest organizations that we can donate to. And we will keep you updated on our process of choosing. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, which should be soon. We'll get the link set up. And, right, right. And we'll, we'll do a video on all the instructions for that. Yeah. So... We're really, really, really excited for this, and um, we're excited to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.